Good morning, Netherland. I'm Sam. And I'm Diego. Thanks for joining us again on GNN. Old Man Winter has released his grip on us after another long week of cold and wind. And just in time, too, because Saturday is a big day for Netherland high school students. Yep. Looks like we'll have a sunny and warm evening down in Boulder where Ned upperclassmen will be grooving at the prom. It'll be nice to leave the winter coats at home. Yep, and there will be plenty of heat out on the dance floor, too. Prom will be held at the Agora at the Riverside, and it's not too late to buy a ticket. Be there. And there are a couple of other places to be this weekend. Right, Diego? Yep, that's right, Sam. Tonight our girls' soccer team is hosting Bruce Randolph at 4 p.m. Enjoy the afternoon sunshine with some Panther soccer. You could get a little extra tanning in before the prom. Good call, Sam. Let's all go out and support those girls. Go Panthers! The high school track team also competes this weekend, traveling to Holy Family High School Saturday morning as they rev up for some exciting events and then race over the prom. Good luck to all our Panther athletes this weekend. And good luck to many of our Ned High scholars because AP testing is just around the corner. AP Chemistry students should be ready to go Monday morning for their big test, 8 a.m. to noon. AP Calculus is set for Wednesday. And AP English Literature students test on Thursday. Good luck to you, Sam, and all the other AP students out there. Show your stuff, and I hope your brain still works after all those tests. <laughs> Me too. Cheer camp is also set to begin next week. Anyone interested in becoming a Panther cheerleader should plan to attend each day after school, 3.30 to 5 p.m. Miss Rock has all the details. So let's rewind a little now, Diego, and talk about some of the news from last week here at Netherland Middle Senior High School. Okay, let's start with the good news. Three Netherland art students will have their awesome work on display at the Boulder Dairy Center. Miss Bagby's pottery class has been working hard at the wheel and in the kiln all year. Tyler Pelkey, Raina Revelle, and our own Sam Churches here have all had pieces selected for the Dairy Center show. Reception night is tonight, Friday, May 2nd, from 4 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And the show will be up on display until May 16th, so go check it out. Breaking news from the control room. Any 8th grader through 11th grader who would like to be an SOS leader next year should see Susie Rippey for information and an application. If you are presently an SOS leader, we will have our final meeting and luncheon on May 12th. All leaders who attended the training last fall should attend. And congratulations to our SRS students who presented their projects last week at the district level. Our SRS students all did an amazing job representing our school and earned many earned honors. Don't forget to congratulate these science stars when you see them. Ann Cox took home the first place award in the environmental category, and in behavioral and social sciences, Angie Ritt earned a second place. Kayla Prince earned an honorable mention award in the medicine and health category. And in the plant and animal sciences competition, we had Luke Harrison place third, along with honorable mention for Rosie Pinot. And the middle level kids are also dominating district competition, Sam. Yep. Our sixth graders sent a team of reading superstars to the annual Battle of the Books. Marguerite Bradley, <laughs> Ainsley Norman, Fiona Eccleston, and Helen Cross represented Nederland in the contest. And won first place. <laughs> Here's the winning team to tell us more about the experience. So Helen, how many other schools were in the battle? There were um, seven in the sixth grade battle. Awesome. So Ainsley, what helped your team win? Um, one of the things I think was that we, uh, we worked together really well as a team and we um, shared each other's ideas even if just to make sure they were right and even if we thought what well, we could be, so yeah. Good, teamwork is good. All right Fiona, how many books did you read and how many, how many did the team read all together? Well, the thing with Battle of the Books is they give you ten books, and throughout the team you have to read all of them. Well, f well, we are overachievers, so we read e every single one of our team read all of, all ten of the books, and then later we reviewed three of them. All right, and Marguerite, do you think you will de try to defend your title next year? Well. It depends if there's a sixth grade, grade team next year, they'll have to get that type trophy because in that's a traveling trophy. And I think it'd be cool if more of the school join in next year because yeah, I'll definitely try again. Good opportunity. 
<laughs> there it is. Battle of the Books could use you. That's a wrap for this week. It's, it's all, all good in the tall woods. woods.